everyone and welcome to today's We Talk Talent with Shivani Nath, CHRM of CoverStack, who brings over two decades of HR expertise across various industries. Her experience also encompasses setting up startups through incubation and fundraising cycles. Shivani, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Piksha. To kick things off, Shivani, could you provide us with an overview of how your industry has navigated the changes in the workplace over the past few years? Absolutely, Piksha. So, uh, India's current insurance penetration uh, is roughly about 4.5%. And uh, given our population density, this represents uh, both challenges and opportunities. If you look at uh, the regulator, IRDA, it's given a vision of uh, insurance for all by 2047. And uh, traditionally, insurance, particularly if you see life insurance, is a push product, right? And uh, the regulator mandates uh, that uh, you know we must significantly expand access to insure uh, to insurance actually across India, which means there is a lot of impetus on increasing uh, consumer awareness, improving distribution channels, a lot of focus on innovation, and also tailoring products to customer needs for diverse uh, uh, you know. Uh, requirements of the customers now also if you see what has happened last few years pandemic has pushed the people to come online right and the industry is also making huge investments in automation across the value chain including distribution this technology again is helping uh, revolutionize uh, the operations whether it's the insurer uh, or the distributor and then uh, this is also helping in enhancing the customer experience so uh, everything you know whether it's the digital platforms uh the data analytics all of the tech interventions are helping streamlining the processes and offer more personalized services and uh this entire emphasis on enhancing the digital consumer ex, uh, you know experience is helping customers with seamless access to insurance services from policy management to claims filing uh, also what is important to know is that that uh, insurance as an industry is uh, extremely regulated. And uh, you know whether it's the insurers, the brokers, the, or the distributors, we need to readily comply and adapt. Uh, then, then there are also, then there's also this focus on cybersecurity and fraud detection. So that's another area of thrust. To deal with all of this, um, the focus is on technology. And the industry is, in fact, adapting uh, to the evolving clients' needs and this ecosystem um, you know, by embracing technology by making sure we are attracting tech savvy talent and also we are upskilling of workforce to navigate this digital landscape so that would really summarize you know the overview of what's really happening here sure so um now as we delve deeper into the talent landscape what type of uh, skill shortages do you believe are driving the talent or uh, specifically on your industry shivani sure uh, so uh apiksha i would say that one is um, you know the deep domain expertise of insurance so you need professionals which uh, you know who understand insurance products so a solid understanding of uh, the traditional insurance products also the regulations you know that's that's really vital to develop and integrate innovative uh, insurtech solutions uh, we also see that uh, there is shortage of skilled software developers uh, you know this would be across domains like web mobile back end development uh, and that's not just being driven because there is demand in the insurance and the insure tech industry but also because uh, you know these these are skills across uh, you know different industries our intake is also from other industries here uh, we, we you know we, we are competing with uh, other tech firms also uh, besides that design thinking and user experience design uh, creating user friendly interfaces uh, and a seamless customer experience becomes important uh, product managers uh, again another uh, uh, you know uh, skill set these are professionals who understand insurance concepts and tech capabilities to design and develop uh, user-centric insure tech products. Uh, so uh, these skills, you know, are, I would say, um, driving the talent war in the industry right now. 
So moving on to another very significant aspect of uh, modern workforce, what are some of the key challenges organization in India face when it comes to leveraging the gig economy to its full potential? Any unique uh, challenges that you face, Shivani, in your industry? Um, so a picture I would say that uh, Indian industry is uh, cautiously exploring the gig economy. So there are benefits like uh, flexibility and access to talent, uh, but then there the regulatory hurdles um, in, in our industry, which is insurance, we also see that there are data security concerns, uh, right? And then therefore there are challenges in ensuring uh, quality uh, services, um, you know, that need to be addressed with successful implementation. So uh, as an industry insurance is um, one for that matter, any other traditional businesses will require a cultural shift uh, to really embrace the gig economy model and also the flexible work arrangements that come with it. So uh, you would need uh, tech infrastructure to effectively manage a gig workforce uh, because gig workers, they don't typically receive uh, the same benefits like maybe a health insurance or leave benefits or even the retirement benefits. Uh, besides, of course, they experience, in, experience fluctuations in income and they also experience job insecurity. I think uh, to that extent, I think um, uh, some of the things that we can do as an industry is maybe create a community of uh, gig workers associated with an organization, uh, probably extending them uh, the same level of support as employees working remotely or skill development opportunities, you know, which would prob probably help address some of the concerns, even look at benefits like health insurance, perhaps. Uh, but I, I think it would require uh, the industry to, you know, evolve a little bit of mindset uh, change to embrace uh, the full benefit of the gig economy, which is now really started to flourish in the country. Sure. And, uh, you know, along with the talent landscape, the entire learning and skilling landscape is also evolving. But, uh, you know, the soft skill uh, part of it has always been crucial to across industries, but their importance seems to be evolving rapidly uh, now. So how do you perceive the, uh, the uh, evolution of soft skills in the future of work? So um, I think um, some of the soft skills, especially given the uh, uh, the entire uh, you know digital ad adoption and technology advancements, uh, I think uh, employees will need to be resilient. Um, uh, it's important to have the ability to adapt and also innovate because workplace. Uh, workplaces, I would say, overall have become dynamic. Uh, you need open-minded people who can really shift gears and take on different responsibilities as needed. Uh, besides that, then you also need compassion and empathy and emotional intelligence. You know, caring about uh, how your colleagues and customers, uh, they would feel, I think, will really help in increasing uh, productivity and revenue because only, only then, you know, if you really understand, um, you know, how people feel and, uh, you know, um, how they really sense, uh, uh, you know, the entire, um, you know, uh, team uh, dynamics will, you know, you you'll be able to work uh, collaboratively and solve for their challenges, you know, be the employees or um, other colleagues and customers. Uh, besides that, then I think also the strong communication and networking skills. So internally and externally, uh, one has to be able to uh, identify opportunities. Uh, you have to be able to put your thoughts, you know, um, you know, put, uh, describe complex problems and then focus uh, on strong execution. So I, I think these would be uh, some of the skills I would say would become very, very important in future. Um, so, Shivani, what is your take on uh, the new generations, now, as we call them, Gen Zs entering the workforce and how does their expectations differ from those of previous generations because we're all working together and the workplaces are dynamic and all. Uh, so, are the, uh, you know, changing expectations of the workforce as well with multiple generations working together, how do you see those differences coming into play? So, I think uh, the Gen Z, they are digital natives and they are very aware um, uh, you know, they already know through social media, um, you know, what they can expect from an employer before they even come on board. And they know the people who, who they will be working with. Um, also, I think they expect use of technology at workplaces to make sure they're not wasting time on tasks that can be managed uh, digitally. 
uh, right? So you have to continuously engage with them, uh, you know, get their input and everything that you're trying to do. Um, it's also important that you curate career paths for them, give them the learning opportunities to keep them excited. Uh, and they value work-life balance uh, much more as opposed to, you know, earlier generation or see, or, you know, perhaps when we started working, because we would sacrifice a lot personally for professional commitments. You know, the generation today doesn't want to do that. Uh, so you have to create a compelling proposition, uh, you know, for them to join the workforce. Also for HR, I think one challenge that I see, uh, you know, when we are talking about uh, the Gen Z, is uh, that, you know, uh, how do you make sure that the uh, work styles of the managers uh, who are coming from the earlier generations uh, align with, uh, you know, the expectations of the Gen Z? So I think navigating those two different generations and making them work collaboratively is something that we have to do within HR. Sure, Shivani. Um, so as we move to the last question of this uh, interview, um, we like to go back to where audit starts, the talent acquisition part of it. So it's in itself is a very dynamic uh, field, having its own set of challenges and all. Could you share some of the prominent uh, challenges you face in the TA space and your strategy to overcome them? Absolutely, Piksha. So there is, uh, I would say, a limited pool of professionals uh, with the right end of technical skills and the insurance knowledge. Uh, also, we are always competing with the more established insurance companies and the tech giants, uh, so to say, for top talent. And we're often facing challenges in terms of compensation and brand recognition. So having an audacious, ambitious vision and then cascading to the team helps in, uh, you know, aligning them to the purpose of the fee, uh, purpose of the firm. Uh, then also, I think uh, what is important is promoting a culture of innovation, creating clear career paths, uh, recognizing and rewarding uh, employees for their contributions. Um, also, the career advancement opportunities, I think offering opportunities for um, uh, professional growth, uh, promotions, cross-functional rotations, uh, participation in special projects uh, or initiatives, uh, that becomes important. Also, uh, let's say mentoring and coaching opportunities. So how do you pair employees with experienced mentors or coaches or, you know, who could provide guidance, support and uh, feedback on their career development goals and aspirations. So um, I think, uh, uh, you know, these are some of the ways that, you know, you can really, um, you know, help face the the hiring challenges uh, so to speak thank you shivani it's been an absolute pleasure speaking with you today uh, before we conclude is there anything else you'd like to share with the audience as a concluding thought or a closing note yeah, I think uh, uh, one thing that uh, I would like to add, I think uh, some of the challenges uh, and uh, strategies that I narrated, I feel, uh, you know, could apply to uh, industry at large beyond uh, just insurance uh, or tech. Um, I think... Uh, Largely, I think we're not different in terms of, you know, uh, being part of the digital revolution. Uh, so to that extent, I think uh, whether it's about attracting, retaining uh, talent or just making sure that, uh, you know, we are growing uh, completely uh, in, you know, um, we, we pop, you know, we're really, um, you know, moving up uh, as, as India kind of becomes a middle income, uh, you know, country, uh, how do we, uh, you know, make sure that we are navigating uh, the complexities that we see in the ecosystem? I think they are not necessarily unique to one industry. So I, I think it's it's important to uh, just focus on the basics. And that's something uh, that, you know, um, it's, it's very important to remember. If we get the basics right, uh, I think uh, some of the challenge are, challenges are really all pervasive. Uh, I think as HR professionals, we really have to focus on, um, you know, um, building the talent. It's always not about buying talent. You have to build talent and uh, eliminate and automate, you know, wherever it's possible. Uh, so that's that's uh, what I would like to leave you all with. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shivani, uh, for sharing such great insights and for your time and sharing uh, your expertise at this forum. And to our audience, thank you for joining us today. Stay tuned for more enriching conversations at ETHR World Meet of Talent. Until next time, take care and stay inspired.